Hello guys, my name is Vasil and today I will do a review video of the Acer Predator 15G9 593 with a GTX 1070. So first, let me show you what's inside the box. In addition to the notebook, its box also contains a powerful charger which delivers 230 watts. As you see, the Acer Predator 15 G9 591 had almost the same design as the other ones. Actually, the most notable one is on the back side. The main exhaust vents have been massively redesigned and now are much more aggressive. The keyboard is island style with long key travel, distinct feedback, free backlit cover zones and large area. Zero keys have enough empty space around them so you can comfortably play racing games if you don't have a wheel. The power button is in the center above the keyboard and it's backlit by a red LED light when the computer is working. The trackpad features a special button which disables it to prevent accidental touches while typing. Acer Predator 15 has a 2.1 audio system with two front facing speakers and a subwoofer on its bottom. On the left Predator 15 has two USB 3 ports, two audio jacks for a microphone and headphones, memory card reader and the optical drive. On the other side we have three more USB ports, one of which is USB 3.1, while the second has a power of charging feature which lets you charge your mobile device even when the notebook is turned off. We also have full-sized HDMI and DisplayPort, RJ45 and Knessington lock slot. We can also say only good things about the materials used. Predator 15 is rock solid and its lead structure includes 40% fiberglass, making the layer 1.8mm thick. Acer Predator 15 display features an IPS matte touch panel with Full HD resolution in a 15.6 inch diagonal. Predator 15 display supports G-Sync for fluent gaming without tiering. Acer Predator 15 has comfortable viewing angles. Here you can see how the screen looks like when viewed from 45 degrees. Predator 15 doesn't show the dark areas well. As you can see the difference between 1% and 4% white is very subtle. Our gaming and movie nights profile greatly improves that. Test the reaction time of the pixels with the usual black to white and white to black method from 10% to 19% and vice versa. The results of the fall time plus the rise time was 18 milliseconds. Ace Operator 15 supports the Dolby Audio technology with music, movies and game modes. The sound is relatively good but the tones aren't clear enough in some low and high frequencies. Here you can see the Ace Operator 15 specs. Operator configuration ship with the pre-installed Windows 10. At the first start, you find the Predator Sense and QR Network Manager apps. With Predator Sense, you can drag the temperatures inside the notebook and the fan speed. You can also see the current CPU frequency, but unlikely the 17 version of Predator Sense, you can't overclock your system with one click. The advanced options give you the choice of always using the discrete graphics, use maximum speed or disable sticky keys. Your network manager gives you the ability to see which applications are hogging your wireless bandwidth. With QR Double Shot Pro Predator 15 can use wired and wireless network connections at the same time. The NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 is part of NVIDIA Pascal generation of GPUs and unlikely previous releases, the company finally closes the gap between mobile and desktop graphics processors. That's why there's no M in the branding of Pascal GPUs. All the gaming tests we ran were on minimum, average and max settings and full HD resolution. For a hardcore gaming laptop like the new Predator, it is essential to maintain low temperatures under heavy load. Keeping the internal temperatures low is an essential task for every gaming system. That's why we measure the external temperatures as well at idle and under heavy load. Here you can see external temperatures at idle. Even the hottest point at idle is pretty cool and that is normal when you aren't playing games. 